Hi, I'm Diane. Right. Sarah's grandmother. I heard you had words with her earlier. Oh, you're going to tell me I'm deluded as well, are you? Son, hear her out. I don't know what happened yesterday, but I can assure you Sarah's not a bad kid. She's been through a lot, actually. Her mum's away in Scotland. <laughs> Leaving her to run wild. Ethan. She set me up. I know her. Sarah wouldn't do something like that. Perhaps if you tried talking to her. I did try. I mean talking to her. As opposed to scaring the life out of her. I'm being falsely accused of possession. I'm sure a decent solicitor would clear up any misunderstanding. I am a decent solicitor. Highly regarded by the partners at his firm. There you go. Point is, I shouldn't need to prove anything. Honestly, Sarah's not like that. I hope not. Is everyone in this village related to Sarah? No wonder they're all protecting her. I'm sure it's not like that. And most of the people I met seem decent enough. Yeah, you always assume everyone's basically good. It's kind of my job. And most people are. But they didn't take long to judge me. I wonder why that is. You know what? I'm not standing for it. Where are you going? Police station. Tell them what I found out about Sarah. So this Dan has been sniffing around again? Yes. I'm as shocked as you are. Well, you wouldn't be shocked if you kept an eye on her like you're supposed to. Hang on, wait a minute. She's been living at yours, so you're not entirely blameless. Yeah, she's only been living with me because of the way you've been acting. Is it any wonder how she's turned out the way she is? All right. I admit, I haven't handled myself very well recently. But you know what? From now on, she's being kept on a tight leash. <laughs> I'm not leaving her here with you. Well, good luck getting out of her room, because she's locked herself in there and she's refusing to come out. She, she'll come out all right. No, Kane, listen. I've given her a really good piece of my mind, OK? You know what she's like? She hates being told off. So just take my advice, leave her there tonight, let her calm down. Right, OK. You keep an eye on her, right? I will speak to Debbie. She's going to go out. No, wait, why do we need to involve Debs? A teenage daughter's getting mixed up with drugs. Of course she's got to know. No, we can sort this between us. Then we haven't sorted it already, though, have we? We should have told her about Danny ages ago. No, Kane, wait, we need to talk about this! She's a mum. Where do you want to go? Anywhere away from here. 